In 1998, an eighth grade class from Whitwell, Tennessee gained worldwide attention, collecting millions of paper clips, one for each life that was lost during the Holocaust. Since then, over 30 million paper clips have been collected, along with a German World War II rail car and 33,000 letters and artifacts located at the Whitwell Middle School. We sat down with two of the original eighth graders reflecting on the project 16 years later in today's Side Roads. Side Roads. This car represents, you know, peace. It represents tolerance. You know. You know what what prejudice can lead to, and um, you know that's one of my big selling points as people is you come to Whitwell, which is a small town of 1,600 people, um, where most of us um, tend to be white and uh, mostly Christian, and uh, something that our town decided to do was to teach our children um, diversity. Because it's hard to visualize in your mind how many. 11 million actually is you can actually come look at it in the box car at the same time you're going to be in the box car where you know people actually stood being transported to a concentration camp and that's just going to kind of give you an idea too of the history of the box car and the program that we had in itself it's a, it's a teaching project now so for anybody with kids i strongly recommend them to bring their children here to let them, like Cassie said, let them see what 11 million is and, you know, what can happen if people don't stand up and, um, and you know, and, and talk about the bad in the world, because there is bad in the world. And, um, you know, it's, it's up to us as individuals to stop something like this from ever happening again. The boxcar itself, the people, you know, that were trapped inside, it gives those people a voice. You know, they couldn't voice their opinion or what they felt at that time, but even all these years later after the Holocaust is over with, you know, they, they're speaking. They are not here, you know, but they can still speak to you through what we've done and, you know, we're giving those people that didn't have a voice a voice. All the butterflies represent um, a poem called I Never Saw Another Butterfly. It was from one of the camps, a children's camp actually, to reason. Um, and it was written by someone that was like actually in the camp during that time. And that's why we put the butterflies because, you know, they're just, they've got wings, they can fly, they're free. Yeah. And even though those people were trapped, you know, they might have passed on or they might still be here, but once they got out of that camp, you know, they're free and they can go do what they want to do and not have to worry about somebody holding them down for being different. Besides in the actual boxcar, you can also go inside the school and there's a section that has the letters we've received. Um, oh, it has how many letters we ended up oh, with. I mean, thousands. folders and yeah. folders of letters from different people. If I'm not mistaken, and, somewhere between 30 to 40,000, yeah. 30 to 40,000 letters. But I remember sitting in our eighth grade classroom and, and I remember looking over on the board and it was, uh, was saying changing the world. You know, one clip at a time, and had a link of paper clips going around the world, and you know that's the biggest part of this is is word of mouth, and people understanding our message and then spreading that word. I mean, that's the you know that's the biggest reason you know for us to, to even do it is to pass that message along to generation after generation, so something like this never happens again. At the time of the project, you know, I, you know, you don't really fully see what what's going on, um, mainly because everything is in such a fast-paced motion, and you know, we're at a, we're at a younger age at the time. But now, you know, mm -hmm. you sit there and you realize about some of the things, some of the people you've talked to, some of the stories that you've heard, and and you know, it, it's a possibility that uh, you know it helped help them in life. You know, it might even help them cope with the you know maybe they lost a grandparent during during World War II and you know they might have sent a paper clip you know and they could have came by here and they could have saw that paper clip in our cart and you know now that paper clip is in its final resting place and you know maybe it gave them some peace and you know just the thought of that it about gives you chills just thinking about that.
All right, great guys there, and uh, certainly all the classes that have been uh, uh, collecting those paper clips for the several years, you know, hats off to them. All right, Children's Holocaust Museum located at the Whitwell Middle School. That's at 1 Butterfly Lane in Whitwell, Tennessee. For more information, 658-5631. You can also go to their website, whitwellmiddleschool.org slash holocaust. And yes, even though school is in session, they do encourage you to stop by as the museum there is right in the front of the school.